checked out and went to a place called Okpaptok, which is a, a kind of like a sustainable project where they're preserving the culture of textile making. In particular, they're working with the, the Hmong villagers to preserve their culture. Uh, I spent the rest of the day, uh, had a little bit of a break for some coffee and a croissant, and now we're in a guest house. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the guest house room. It is a cute little place called uh, Nitya Guest House. I chose to go for a little cheaper option. If you watch the other, the other room tour, you'll know most of this trip has been fancy touring around in a group. The meals have been planned. Call me Cinderella because the bubble has been popped. I'm back to the real Lao life, back to a real Lao guest house. It's about $13 a night here. I'll show you around the room. Pretty basic small room, but it does the job when you just want to want to hang out in Luang Prabang, see the sights, and you want to be close to everything. So I quite like this area. There's some cheap food in the area. You have uh, the river in one direction. You have the night market in another direction. So um, it is pretty central. I would recommend it, especially during low season when there isn't a, as many, as much competition and the rooms are cheaper. It's easier to it's easier to kind of find or even negotiate a little bit with the places. Good. I also love that it's super chill here. Just a nice place to be. We'll head over to the night market soon. It's a big place. It has expanded a lot since I was here in 2008. Um, there isn't necessarily more variety just because it's expanded. A lot of that is different vendors selling the same thing. So for example, you might see the t-shirt, different t-shirt vendors, but they have actually the same, the same products. You'll find lots of clothing, lots of art and paintings and different types of textiles to check out. There's even some Lao whiskey to taste and sample while you're here. I'll show you a clip of our little samples from yesterday. It smells more like this. <laughs> What do you say? The last bit. <laughs> it's sweet and it also has the special characteristic of <laughs> <laughs> built in there somewhere. The finish is okay, the, the final taste, but the first taste is definitely the way they ferment it. You definitely get a lot of the, the a lot of that funky character. So yeah, that one's that one's a little rough. That one's a little a little too authentic. <laughs> if all of this shopping has made you hungry, you'll want to walk to the side of the market with the Indigo Hotel. Right near there, there's a alley leading to the area where they have a wet market. So inside there's a lot of pre-made food. And that food includes uh, pretty cheap vegetarian food. So you can get a plate of, uh, or you can enjoy a couple of plates of buffet vegetarian food for about 10,000 kip. Or what is that, 40 baht or a dollar 20 or something. So that's a good option in addition to the vegetarian food. You'll find they have a lot of grilled meat that they're serving up. It looks delicious. The chickens are glazed. Um, the duck looks good. All sorts of sausage is on the grill and smoking up this tiny little alleyway. There's, I guess there's no place in Luang Prabang like it because there's so much food concentrated in such a small area. Looks pretty tasty too. We'll probably get your appetite going. And uh, yeah, they got stuff for vegetarians, so that's always an added, added perk. Actually, instead of eating inside the, the little street where it was kind of crowded, a little noisy, and would have been pretty hard to shoot a little video and do my thing. We're hitting the street, gonna have 
gonna follow the smoke, follow my nose right to this um, meat grilling station where they're also serving up some papaya salad. So I've been watching her make it. She's let me choose how spicy I wanna have it. And after eating in lots of nice restaurants, I am more than ready. So we've got some grilled pork on the menu tonight, looking tasty. I'll, I might get hungry and go back and have some grilled fish too, but we'll have to start with this. We've also got a whopping plate of tamahong or samtam or papaya salad. It's spicy, made fresh, made in front of me plenty of uh, pungency and then finally just like local style they've got a giant hunk of sticky rice that's way more sticky rice than i think i can eat alone but i've got trusty rusty beer lao to uh, back me up and help make sure i wash everything down this isn't the sturdiest cup i could wish for but i gotta say cheers to you for watching. I'm gonna enjoy my street food, chew on this pork. Hope you get to try this stuff when you're in Luang Prabang. More local food, a couple, maybe even a recipe if I can pull it off. And more details on being here, staying here, surviving here, surviving the heat, checking out all the temples and attractions and cultural things to see and do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping it positive. I'll be back with you shortly.